I hope you all bear with me, but a ghostly poet giving a ghostly reading, first of all, needs a nice drink of a ghostly brandy. <laughs> that warms my spirit immeasurably. So, first of all, thank you all for giving a listen to my words, and this poem was written a hundred years ago, and I'm reading on this thing known as a Kindle. Uh, to me, Kindle is uh, sitting by a fireplace with a client, uh, drinking lots of brandy, but here we are. And I would like to very much thank the living beings of Untitled Poetry for having me here this evening. I believe you would call that a shout out? Yes. <laughs> well, can we do that? Whatever that is, a shout out to let them know how much uh, we appreciate uh, the hosts of this Untitled Poetry Open Mic. Yeah. I think I fear a few howling spirits out there. So, if you take away anything from me, Wallace Stevens, Know that even if you are an insurance executive, which is what I spent my earthly years doing to earn my daily bread, you too can be a poet. You don't have to have a poetic job or live a poetry life, whatever that is. You can be a poet. Just as you are, wherever you are, or wherever you're coming from and going to. Let's be a poet. And so this poem is the emperor of ice cream. I understand it later turned up in a book called Salem's Lot by somebody named Stephen King, a little after my time. Call the roller of big cigars, the muscular one, and bid him whip in kitchen cups, congepes, and curds. Let the wenches dawdle in such dress as they are used to wear, and let the boys Bring flowers in last month's newspapers. Let B be the finale of seem. The only emperor is the emperor of ice cream. Take from the dresser of deal, lacking the three glass knobs, that sheet on which she embroidered fantails once, and spread it so as to cover her face. Let her horny feet protrude, they come to show how cold she is and dumb. Let the lamp affix the beam. The only emperor is the emperor of ice cream. Thank you all so much for living and being. And until we meet again on the other side where I am, happy poetic travels in your journey. Yeah.